Hello physical scientists and math learners, I'm Miss Martins and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a lesson. Tell me what topic you would like to see next. Enjoy the lesson. This is charge quantization or the quantization of charge. So this formula is N equals Q divided by QE. So remember we said that every single charge in the universe every single charge, every single thing that has a charge, that charge is either equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, or it is a whole number multiple of this. Okay, so let me actually just read you very quickly this experiment where this was discovered. So Robert Millikan was an American scientist, and he measured the charge on an electron. He used droplets of oil that were charged by friction, and he allowed these droplets to fall between two parallel plates. And he changed the voltage across these plates, which essentially allowed the droplets to remain stationary. And then he measured the charge of these droplets. What he found is that the charge on these droplets were either zoom in, were either 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs or multiples of this number. So he concluded that the smallest possible charge must be the charge on one electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, and this will be given on your formula sheet. And since objects cannot gain or lose a fraction of an electron, right? If an object is gaining, it's gaining full electrons. If an object is losing, it's losing full electrons. It can't lose a fraction of it. It can't lose a part of it. It's either going to lose one full electron, two full electrons, and so on, or it's going to gain one full electron, two full electrons, or so on. So basically, the net charge of any object has to be a multiple of this charge. So it's either going to be that, or it's going to be that times one, or that times two, or that times three, or that times four. Okay, so basically that means, this is what the word quantized mean. It says we say that electric charge is quantized, so it exists in only discrete amounts. We're going to take a look at this formula quickly. So actually, if I rearrange this formula, you'll get a formula that looks like this. So if I want to isolate Q, you'll get this. Q is equal to N times QE. Now, just focus on this very quickly. N is the number of electrons. So one electron, two electrons, one million electrons. So it's a number, a whole number, an integer, basically. Q E is the charge on one electron. So QE is basically a constant. It's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So remember I said any object in the universe will have a charge that is equal to the charge on an electron multiplied by a whole number. I hope that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense to some of you, do not stress. It's just for those of you that are interested. Okay, but we're going to be using the formula in this form. So N is equal to Q over QE. So we will use it in this form to calculate the number of electrons transferred. So that's during contact, where little n stands for the number of electrons transferred. So that's what we're trying to find. Q is the actual amount of charge transferred. Okay, so what that means is an object starts with a certain charge, then they touch, then it ends with a different charge. So what this Q is, it's the difference. It's how much was transferred, how much charge was transferred. That's why I wrote here, it's the difference in charge after touching and before touching. And then again, QE is the charge of an electron. And obviously, electron is a negative thing, so it's negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And I said your signs are not very important here. And again, charges must be in coulombs and it's especially especially vital for this formula and I said that that Q is the final charge on one object minus the initial charge on the same object so we're going to do an example two, two charged objects A and it has a charge of negative 8 nano coulombs and B which has a charge of negative 6 
nanocoulombs touch each other and are separated. Calculate the new charge on sphere A and B. And then number two, calculate the number of electrons transferred during contact. So number two is where the new work is coming in, but we have to do number one in order to get to number two. So they touch, then they separated. You always first have to work out the new charge. So first of all, sphere A has a charge of negative eight nanocoulombs, which is equal to negative eight times 10 to the negative nine coulombs. How do you know that? Because you just need to know the conversions from nanocoulombs to coulombs, it's times 10 to the negative nine. And B, is negative 6 nanocoulombs, so it is negative 6 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. And then just, it's not, they didn't ask this, but from which one to which one will the electrons be transferred? The electrons will be transferred from A to B, because A is more negative, B is less negative. Okay, so back to number one, calculate the new charge. We need to use our formula. Q is equal to Q, let's call it QA plus QB divided by 2. So we've got negative 8 times 10 to the negative 9 plus negative 6 times 10 to the negative 9 divided by 2. Remember, signs are important. Minus, oh, now this is horrible. I'm just going to write it in scientific notation immediately. It should be times 10 to the negative 9. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. So that is what Q is. So basically, you don't have to write this, but it's going to help for the next question. A had a initial charge of negative 8 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs and it had a final charge of negative 7 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. B had an initial charge of negative 6 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs and had a final charge of negative 7 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. Okay, so A initially had that one, it's final as that. B initially had that one, it's final as that. See, the finals are the same. Okay, that's number one. So this is the answer to number one. Number two, calculate the number of electrons transferred during contact. So that's our new formula. So our new formula is N is equal to Q divided by QE. Now, N is what we're looking for. It's number of electrons. QE is a constant. It's a negative because we're talking about the charge on an electron. But again, I said for this formula, signs are not very important because we're working out a number. So if we put in a negative because that's negative and we get a negative, it's just, it's a number. So it's like saying I have like negative five pens. Like that makes no sense. The signs don't matter. And then Q, what Q is, it is the charge transferred. So to work out Q, what you do is you'd say final charge minus initial charge and you can pick either object it'll give you the same magnitude as an answer so it'll give you the same value so let's try let's do let's do both of them just so I can show you let's do B first so the final charge on B is negative 7 times 10 to the negative 9 minus minus 6 times 10 to the negative 9. Why am I saying minus minus? Because I'm saying final minus initial, and the initial is a negative. So you have to have that minus minus. Okay, so that's if I pick object B. You only need to choose one, but I'm just going to show you what happens if I pick object A. 
So the final charge on A is the same as the final charge on B, then minus, minus 8, which was the initial charge on A. Let's just change my thing here. And it gives you 1 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. See, it gives you the exact same magnitude, which means amount. So yes, this one's a negative, that one's a positive, it doesn't matter. The reason that the signs are different is because the one is receiving charge and the one is giving away charge. Okay, so remember, the charge, the electrons moved from A to B. Okay, so B was receiving charge and A was giving away charge. So that's why the ones are plus, ones are minus. But the magnitude is what is important. Remember, when I substitute in here, I don't care about signs. So it's 1 times 10 to the negative 9. So the number of electrons, therefore, is the charge that is transferred, or this, they're the same. So please just make a note that these are the same. I just showed you both options. You just pick one. So it's 1 times 10 to the negative 9. And then QE is a constant. It's negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. But you don't, we don't care about the signs because you're just working out a number. Okay, so again, the signs aren't important because we're working out a number. 6, 2, 5, how many zeros are there? 7. You can write it in scientific notation if you want. Either way, it'll be fine. Okay, so that's a massive amount of electrons, but that makes sense. We expect it to be a massive number.